Well, it is a big day for Iowa State tonight. Both the men's and women's basketball teams play in the Sweet 16. The men are in Chicago. They're going up against the Miami Hurricanes. And the women are matched up to face the Creighton Blue Jays in Greensboro. All right, our sports team is out making sure we catch every bit of it. Sports Director Raina Garcia is in Chicago at the Navy Pier and reporter Colin Cahill is in Greensboro. So let's go first to Raina. How's everything there? Well, guys, the uh, Windy City is actually living up to its nickname right now because it is very cold and very windy and a little rainy right now. But that's OK because it is game day. And, you know, the United Center is the place to be tonight if you are an Iowa State fan. But earlier this afternoon, it was the Grand Ballroom here at the Navy Pier. It was hopping with Iowa State fans. And that is because the Athletics Department put on a pep rally. Um, and that included appearances from President Wendy Winterstein, um, as well as Athletic Director Jamie Pollard. Um, and of course, hundreds of fans showed up for the big event to get pumped up for the game tonight. And some fans we talked to made the trip all the way from Ames and others happened to be Chicago natives who were thrilled to have the Cyclones playing in their city. How excited were you when they won and you, they were heading to your home in Chicago for the 16? I couldn't stop jumping around my house. I literally knocked down everything. Driving down, we saw the you know Iowa State fans on the road like waving at us and stuff. So it's fun. We got to speak with athletic director Jamie Pollard at the event, and he told us that having both the women and men in the Sweet 16 is such a proud moment for ISU athletics, and being able to have so many fans come out and enjoy the experience has been incredible. Still windy out here, guys, but you know, if there are fans in the Chicago area that, um, that aren't able to make it to the game tonight, there are some watch parties going on. It looks like one's at uh, Murphy's Bleachers and the other is at Old Town Pub. Um, but we're going to send it now to Colin Cahill, who is in Greensboro following the Iowa State women. What's going on, Colin? Thanks, Raina. Yep, we're just about three hours away from tip-off here down in Greensboro. We're hanging out at one of the resorts here where the pep rally just wrapped up. And, of course, hanging out with some Cyclones fans down here in Greensboro, North Carolina. The pep rally just wrapped up. The team spoke to about 100 fans as they made the trip down here. We saw the Cyclone pep band. We saw Cy was hanging around doing his thing and one of the best mascots in the Big 12. And fans of Iowa State, well, they had a tough decision to make this year as both teams obviously made the Sweet 16. Where would they go depending on where would they have to go? Who would they pick? It was an easy one for them. We come with some of them asked how life has been like for the Iowa State fandom. Well, it doesn't get much better than that right now in Iowa because we're winning and the Hawks aren't. There's great basketball tradition in Iowa, especially on the women's side. I mean, I have friends in Chicago that just don't understand it. And I've told them, I said, they've been playing basketball in Iowa for 110 years. And I said, it's a tradition. It's a part of our heritage. It's a part of the culture. And coming up at six, we're going to hear from head coach and some players about just the beauty of March Madness and why they enjoy it down here in the Sweet 16. Reporting from Greensboro, Colin Cahill, Local 5 Sports, back to you guys in the studio.